the new... First news first. We take you now to one of the KLIF mobile news units for a news story of special interest brought to you by Zenith, America's number one TV value. I knew from probably the time I was 11 or 12 years old I wanted to be in broadcasting or in newspapers or something of that nature. I was very, very interested in in radio in particular. I think in those days I used to uh, uh, bug my little brother because I'd say, don't I just sound like the guy on the radio? What do you think? What do you think? And this would be like at 10, 11 o'clock at night and he'd be going, we lived in the same, or slept in the same bedroom and he'd go, please just let me sleep. Got a brand new dance from Joey D and the Peppermint Twist. It goes like this. It was a dream shared by many to be just like one of those guys on the radio. The year was 1968. Alec Docking was graduating from high school. His brother wanted a good night's sleep, and CFRY Radio in Portage La Prairie was hiring walk-ins. I knocked on their door and they said, sure, come on in. So, Because they'd take anybody, and they even <laughs> took me. <so. laughs> Television beckoned in the early 70s. Alec joined CKX-TV Brandon. By 1975, he was ready to follow other Brandon expats to Regina. Frank called and said, well, we've got a, uh, an opening here to, do, um, to work in news as a writer, producer, and do the late night weather. Well, that was an interesting combination. I haven't worked in news, but, uh, but was interested. So came down and started working in, uh, in uh, CKCK TV. I can't remember. He obviously had some kind of talent to do the weather because that brought him in. Um, and uh, uh, he kind of surprised me because he showed a lot more talent in a lot of other areas and by the time he left, um, he was doing everything. Then getting to Regina and going, wow, these guys are top flight pros in the business. I'm going to have a tough time even making a mark in this market, never mind worrying about any other market. So it, your, your mindset changed quickly to uh, let's do what we can to make our, our, our best place here. And, and that's the way it stayed basically from that point on. Alex soon teamed up with Holly Preston for AM Magazine, a morning show that, of all things, made news. Tough questions for frontline Canadian newsmakers, politicians, activists, pioneers. We made it a real point to be a newsmaker place on a morning TV talk show, which is usually like the cooking segments and the, you know, the uh, community service and those kind of things. And we did those as well. But we always made a real point of trying to be newsworthy. In 1984, a prairie perspective for CTV's federal election broadcast produced an unexpected election result. As they went across the country, the election results are coming in from Saskatchewan at that time. And uh, here's Lloyd Robertson and uh, Bruce Phillips was the uh, Ottawa Bureau Chief for CTV at the time. And they came to me and I gave the quick spiel, the rundown of here's what's happening in Saskatchewan. And, and they asked me a question. And I didn't go deer in headlights. I actually had an answer, uh, which was, uh, I guess, a plus <laughs> at that time. And the next day, uh, Tim Kotcheff, who was the head of uh, CTV News at the time, actually phoned and said, do you want to come and work for us? Thomas Sofano was led out the back door of the Winnipeg courthouse, convicted of murder. The decision has already been made that affected portions of this service station parking lot will have to be dug up and disposed of. Alec Docking, CTV News, on the Pegasus Reserve. Alec would spend three years with the CTV National News, working out of Winnipeg. Those near the front of the passenger train, there was little chance of survival. No story more memorable than the 1986 train crash at Hinton, Alberta. find out why it happened. Why a loaded freight train headed westbound on a single track, while a via passenger train headed eastbound straight towards it. We got flown in on a Saturday afternoon, uh, right after we got word of, of this happening, uh, and uh, out of Winnipeg to uh, Edmonton, and then out there, got there at about midnight or so, uh, to the scene, and then uh, the next morning we're on scene and, and reported for seven days, and actually led the national news for seven days in a row, so that's one that sticks in your head. From CTV, this is the CKCK News, with Alec Docking and Tara Robinson. In 1987, Alec returned to CKCK TV, as assignment editor and later anchor. And in 1990, succeeded Frank Flagel as news director of Saskatchewan's top-rated news team. But television was changing, and not without some pain. We kind of spent 
uh, periodic downsizing over the next number of years. Most of the downsizing, Frank, uh, thankfully, was not in the newsroom directly, although it did apply to uh, some of the camera people and the editors and those kind of things. But uh, certainly, the station overall, we saw some, you know, some people that had been around for many, many years, good friends uh, who were suddenly no longer there. Which was, it, 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 everybody's been through it, and everybody will still go through it on, on occasion. But uh, I wouldn't call them fun times. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, we also spent a, a period of, uh, of, I thought, considerable achievement as well. Well, it was a newsroom that, uh, that, as it is to this day, it's a newsroom that has uh, tremendous uh, vibrancy and vitality and, and uh, typically um, plays above its weight. Cake. My own cake. Alec retired from CTV Regina in 1999. There just comes a time when you look around and say, you know, maybe this is a good time to uh, look for some other opportunities and look at some other odd life. Um, I'm taking this as a, as a chance for uh, a new beginning for myself personally, and I think uh, a chance for some growth personally and that sort of thing. So I'm not sure where I'm going to end up, but I'll certainly end up somewhere. Shortly afterward, Ralco Radio came calling. CJME Regina was introducing a news talk format, and they wanted Alec. A federal budget with a target on pensions and pennies. I'm Alec Dawking. 13 years later, with repeated industry recognition, a boyhood dream lives on. have to change the saying to a nickel for your thoughts. And here I am, in radio, making the complete circle. So, what about shop owners? Got to say, Miss Television, television was certainly a love of mine, but... News Talk Radio is a great format. I mean, you really do get the opportunity to do things that it's very hard to do on a local television station unless you're in a 24-hour news operation. Uh, we do a lot of things, a lot of breaking news, a lot of opportunities to be on the air, a lot of opportunities to uh, to uh, sort of be on the front lines of some, some very interesting stories in our market over the last uh, 13 years, and uh, it's been great fun. Well, Alec can do everything, and he has done everything, and it's such a luxury to be able to hand a story to somebody like Alec Docking, because as, as a news director, my job's done. I've just given it to one of the best news people in Canada, and I don't have to think about it anymore. Also, for Alec, I mean, it's, it's so interesting for young people coming in. If they aren't as excited about a story or as uh, engaged in what's happening as the guy who's been doing this for 40 years, then they very quickly realize what it takes to succeed in this business, right? Camera presence, his voice, his... Uh, uh, his news sense, his news judgment, he just brought, he gave us a lot of credibility. Napoleon once said, I fear three newspapers more than I fear a hundred thousand bayonets. Alec Docking uh, will know that he said that because he was at that scrum. Uh, the, the, the comment, of course, speaks to the, uh, the power of the media and the influence often uh, for the good of our media. Everyone would agree uh, that's been on the other side of his microphone in a way that's been more than fair uh, and uh, with all of the journalistic integrity that we, we hope the, 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 that estate to have. And so uh, on behalf of the province of Saskatchewan, on behalf of our government, I just want to say, Alec, congratulations on 44 years. Uh, it's still going strong. Alec is one of the pioneers of television news. I worked with him when he was our Prairie correspondent in the 80s and always appreciated his talent and dedication to the job at hand. He brought his solid Canadian values and journalistic sensibility to the desk every single day. The Lifetime Achievement Award is one of the most prestigious and I'm very happy to see it go to Alec this year. Congratulations again, Alec. Away from the camera, Alec's insight and skill has benefited CP wire committees and the RTDNA. The contributions are considerable. After all, it's 44 years and counting. Alec Docking, recipient, the RTDNA Lifetime Achievement Award, Prairie Region Television.